What we're looking at on the screen are uh, images of two crystals. <clears throat> These crystals are mirror images of one another. So if you imagine putting a mirror between these, and if this crystal on the left looked in the mirror, it would see what, what would appear to be the right-hand crystal, which is a mirror image of itself. These crystals, two crystals are particularly important because they are crystals of a molecule called tartaric acid. And this is one form of tartaric acid. And here is another form, which is also considered tartaric acid. And these are not identical structures. They are different. And how can you tell they're different? Well, one way is when these two different forms, the top and the bottom forms, when they crystallize, they form separate crystals that we see here on the left and right. And there was a scientist many, many years ago, uh, Louis Pasteur, who was looking at crystals, and he was a very observant person, apparently, and noticed that he, that he saw different uh, crystals. And this started him to think about what is going on with these molecules that I'm seeing mirror images. And it all comes into this idea of stereochemistry. And for our purposes, when we talk about stereochemistry, we're going to talk typically about sp3 hybridized carbons with four different substituents. Now, what does this have to do with tartaric acid? And this is these are tartaric acid over here. Well, each of these carbons, I'm kind of pointing to a carbon here, it has four different substituents. It has the acid, it has an OH, it has whatever you want to call this carbon group, and although we haven't shown it, there is a hydrogen also coming off of there. So tartaric acid has two carbons, which are sp3 hybridized with four different substituents. And as a result, this when we talk about tartaric acid, you encounter the ideas of stereochemistry. Now, we're clearly talk more about this, but this is where these ideas came from. And Pasteur figured out that there was this idea of stereochemistry and uh, more properly chirality or a lack of symmetry, asymmetry, possible in organic molecules.